It's Thursday, July 20th, 2017, and I'm pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. In the news, the National Assembly will be involved in the Brokopondo Agreement. Chinese offenders for Markt Zuid, sorted training for health workers, and the entrance exam for primary school started yesterday. I'm Susan Maynard and your local news begins now. The National Assembly will be involved in the Brokopondo Agreement and it may come with proposals. This is what the Minister of Natural Resources, Regilio Dotson, said on Tuesday in Parliament. Dotson responded to the questions asked by MPs after presentation of President Daisy Bouterse. According to Dotson, the government wants the Brokopondo Agreement to finally end by the end of 2019. All relevant institutes will be involved. All changes made by Parliament will be taken seriously, says Dotson. The government will send the concept of agreement this year to Parliament for approval. With this, the Minister of Natural Resources wanted to downplay all the alle allegations that the government would take decisions on the Brokopondo Agreement without consultation. Marktsuit commonly known as the Note Markt, will soon receive a number of new vendors. The new vendors are from Chinese descent. This is part of the plan to revitalize Markt Zuid and to upgrade the level of the market. The District Commissioner's Office of Paramaribo North East has discussed the issue with the Chinese Youth Federation yesterday. District Commissioner Mike Nerkust then agreed that the Chinese vendors would sell products at Markt Zuid. The registration of the vendors is done by the Chinese Youth Federation, Suriname. After the installation of a new market manager of the Note Markt, the new vendors will be introduced. With this, the commissioner wants to assist in removing the pressure of the central market in the city center. From July 17th to 27, 2017, assorted training will be held for data administrators of the Ministry of Health. Sorted is an initiative of the World Health Organization intended to encourage countries to process and publish their data on databases. The Ministry of Health, the Malaria Program, the National Tuberculosis Program and the Medici Sending will attend this 10-day training to analyze and report health data. The data analysis allows trends to become visible and problems are better understood. Afterwards, organizations should produce one or more reports. The training is provided by the Pan American Health Organization together with the Malaria Program of the Ministry of Health. Yesterday, the students of the sixth grade of the elementary school started with their entrance exam. 11,540 students are participating in the exam. Shortly before the test, the sixth graders were encouraged by different people to do their utmost. This year, President Daisy Bouterse also motivated the young people to perform well at their exam. Yesterday, the students were tested in the subjects Dutch, text concept, mental arithmetic, and geography. Today, they do calculation arithmetic, arithmetic, and history. Tomorrow, Dutch general language knowledge and biology. The same test is also taken from 368 students of the first grade at LBO level. 
That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day. Until tomorrow.